Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? I've been seeing tons of people request all of the specialists in Black Ops 3, so I decided that I would make you guys this video so I could show you guys all the specialists, all their abilities, and you guys could kind of see what you want, what you don't want, especially if you don't have the game. This is going to be helpful to you guys so that you can, guys can really get a grasp of all the specialists before you pick it up. So I hope this video helps some of you guys out. I've been getting this request a few times from you guys, so I figured I'd just make a quick video showing this to you. Let's go ahead and cover it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. New Black Ops 3 videos every few hours here. We're grinding hard, man. Channel is lit. Fam, go ahead and drop a like if you enjoy the content. First guy we're gonna get into is The Ruin. He comes with gravity spikes, okay? Spikes that create an explosive shockwave when slammed into the ground, destroying all enemies within the range. Or you could equip the the overdrive, cybernetic leg upgrades that enable a temporary burst of speed. So obviously out of these two, I'm going to go ahead and say the gravity spikes are definitely the best. I guess I'll also give you guys my opinions on how good these guys are, what is the best specialist to use, and all of that good stuff. So I hope that you guys definitely enjoy. Next one is going to be the Outrider. You guys have seen tons of gameplay of this person, I'm sure, because it happens to be people's favorite. It seems like most people really enjoy this specialist. Probably just because the bow is really cool. Let's all be honest here. So it comes with a sparrow, a compound bow that fires bolts with increasing range the longer it is drawn. The It explodes on impact as well, which is awesome. The other one they, that the uh, Outrider has is the Vision Pulse. Pulse the surrounding area to reveal all enemies within range. Basically like an oracle. You can see through walls and everything. It's wall hacks, bro. It's wall hacks. The Prophet comes with the Tempest, which is a charge shot rifle. It shoots uh, electricity bolts and it can zap everybody in the surrounding area, which is pretty good. It also comes with a glitch where you can flash back to a previous location. It basically takes you back like wherever you were like five seconds ago or something like that. Also a really good one. This is actually one of my favorites right here. Uh, either the glitch or the Tempest doesn't really matter. I think they're both really good. I believe the Prophet is one of the better specialists for sure. The battery, obviously she has the war machine, which is a grenade launcher that explodes everybody, shooting noob tubes all up in this piece, or you can put her, uh, give her ballistic vests, basically. It's called kinetic armor, reactive armor that deflects away enemy bullets. Basically, all it is is ballistic vests. That's it. it. Is it good? Sure, it's cool, but definitely if you're going to use this specialist, use the war machine. Pretty good specialist uh, kill streak right there. Pretty good specialist lethal weapon. I actually like it. A lot, but overall, one of the better specialists, uh, I wouldn't say that much. Then we got the Seraph, which has the Annihilator Pistol, basically the Golden Gun. For How many times am I going to say basically? It's basically the Golden Gun, though, from Destiny, let's all be honest. It's the Golden Gun from Destiny, uh, called the Annihilator. It has like eight shots or something, and it's pretty cool, pretty good. I enjoy it. And the other one is Hardline. It's called Combat Focus in this game. Well active, all score earned will trigger a bonus multiplier towards score streaks. Now this is another specialist that you see a lot of people use, but I don't believe she's as effective as some as, uh, as some of the other specialists. If you're going to use the Hardline perk, uh, it's definitely really good. I think that the, I honestly believe the combat focus is way better than the gun because even though the gun is cool, it's only going to get you kills if you're you know at, it's basically like having a shotgun or a sniper rifle. That's that's all it really is uh, as far as the as far as the annihilator is concerned. That's it really. But the combat focus can really help you if you're going to hop on some objectives and get your score streaks up, which is cool. The Nomad is another one of my favorites. Uh, definitely, I would rank him pretty high. The Hive deploys trap pods, which release deadly swarms of nanodromes when triggered. And these nanodromes, they're pretty much exactly like claymores or bouncing betties or whatever, just way more effective than them. So you get when you do get this specialist ability, you can shoot these all over the map. And it's pretty much like putting like 10 claymores around the map. It's pretty cool. I definitely enjoy it. Definitely one of the better specialists. And Rejack, of course, everybody knows about Rejack. Now it's pretty much a glorified tactical insertion. So you recover from the position of your death with the injection of nanoparticle serum. Uh, you cannot Rejack when killed by a specialist weapon. So in the beta, when you Rejack, you actually would have all of your score streak uh, scores still left. And you can keep on your score streak. But now when you die, it's... It's almost like, it's exactly like you died. That's all it is. You're just spawning in the same location you died in. That's all this ability does now. Not the greatest ability anymore, unless you're like playing Search and Destroy or something and you get an extra life. The Reaper. This is most likely going to be everybody's choice for the best kill streak or the best specialist in the game. The uh, killing weapon of the specialist is going to be called the Scythe. It's a minigun that transforms from the arm. 
and delivers high damage in a tight cone of fire. It's like the death machine from previous games. Probably the best specialist. If you're going to have to pick a guy, I'd say this is the best specialist in my opinion. The death machine, the scythe, is just too good. And then, of course, Psychosis spawned three decoy clones that run forward to distract enemies. is actually really good. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it is. I'm actually going to unlock it right now for use because that one is... It's just so good. This, this specialist ability is awesome. It basically makes, you know, three other teammates besides yourself. And it totally... they And you can't tell who's who. It's awesome. Unless, obviously, one guy is shooting at you or something. You'll know that that's the bad guy. But if you just, like, run with them, it looks good. It, it, that's probably the best specialist. And, of course, the Spectre is probably the most UP, the most underpowered specialist. And... He comes with the Ripper. It's an arm upgrade that equips a lethal blade for extended melee lunge attacks, like Commando from MW2. Well activated, pressing X will melee with the Ripper in place of your held weapon. I have my, my uh, stuff changed around, so, you know, whatever your melee button is, that's what will do it. And then the other one is the active camo. It's camouflage, you know, stealth, turn invisible. That one's actually pretty good. The active camo only lasts a few seconds, but it's still... Pretty good for getting the jump on people and all that good stuff. But overall, Spectre, most likely the weakest specialist in most people's opinions, I think. Then the last guy we got is going to be the Firebreak. Another really good objective specialist. He comes with the Heat Wave, which you emit, um, you emit a massive heat blast that stuns enemies and destroys hostile equipment. Like a giant stun grenade is what you become and it destroys everything in the surrounding area. So say you enter a building and you know there's sentry guns and stuff in there. You do that, it destroys everything. Really good, I think. And then for playing objectively, the Purifier is another really good uh, specialist ability. It's a flamethrower that fires a steady stream of heat, scorching enemies within close range. Two hits kill instantly. One hit takes about three seconds for them to die. So either way, it's one hit kills. Purifier, fire, flamethrower, fire, flame, thrower, throwing flames, dropping mixtapes on people, spinning bars. And overall, I think that a I think the top three specialists, we got to give it to the Reaper. Uh... Reaper, Firebreak, and I'm going to go ahead with Prophet. Those guys, probably Outrider too. Those are probably the best specialists for you to use if you don't know who to use. And that will be my pick. Anyways, I just wanted to bring you guys this video so you can see all the specialists in the game with all their abilities. And maybe make your pick on who you want to be, which is pretty awesome. And now i got to update game settings, apparently. But either way, love you guys a ton. Subscribe if you're new. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and say, wow, how special, in the comment section below. Also, tell me your favorite specialist. Love you guys a ton. Subscribe if you're new. And I am over. And out.